Hi everyone, today we're going to have a look at starting something new in your S1 course and that is looking at something called animation, okay? So you will need an app to use for this. Um, if you don't have a smartphone or an iPad at home, don't worry too much, we can do it on, the, uh, on paper and I'll show you how to do that in the second video. So you want to go to the app store and you want to download an app called Flip a Clip. So you have a look at my screen just now. I've already downloaded it, so when you have got that downloaded, open it up, and this is what is called your home screen. So you can see that you've got projects and you've got movies. What you want to do is start your own animation. So you're going to click the big plus button, and that will bring up your new animation. So you can type in the name, and we're going to do a bouncing ball. So I want you to type in bouncing ball, and then you can choose a background. So you have scenes. There are different types of paper. Don't worry too much. This is just what it's going to look like in the background. You also have different patterns. I quite like that little shell pattern, so I'm going to select that one. And then you want to create your project. Don't worry too much about the frames per second at the moment. Once you've opened up your project, you have your toolbar along the top. Now, what I have done is I've rotated my screen so that I can use it on its side. Um, and that's just a bit easier with your, when you're going to be drawing with your finger. You have the pen toolbar up the top left. If you click on the pen, there are four different options. A pencil, a brush, a highlighter and a normal pen. If you click on the little circle, you can change the thickness of your brush. And if you drag on the square, it changes the transparency of your brush. I'm just going to keep it at 100% just now so you can see what I'm meaning by that. You also have an eraser in case you make a mistake. You also have a little connecting tool that joins your shapes together and your colour fill tool and a text tool. So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to draw a circle. You can zoom in on your background to help you out. Draw a circle. You're then going to click the plus sign that adds a layer. Now we call this an onion skin. You're adding a frame here and it shows you a little shadow of the background of your shape before. So you can create another circle on there as well. And if you keep doing that across a series of different shapes, now your, your ball is going to be bouncing, so it's going to go to the bottom of your background and then bounce back up. Don't worry too much about your shapes at the moment. I know it's difficult to draw with your finger. Um, when your ball hits the bottom, it's going to flatten ever so slightly and then it's going to bounce back up. Now you can stop at any time and press the play button on the right hand side and that will show you what your animation looks like. So that's what mine is looking like at the moment. If you want to be fancy, you, there is an option in the bottom left hand corner that you can add music. Now this is your first task, it's just to create a bouncing ball animation. Now what you will notice is that if you put your frames and your shapes close together, you'll get more of a smooth animation. However, if you leave the larger gaps between your circles, you get a little bit more of a jaggy animation. Okay, so I want you to have a go at making your frames slightly closer together and then slightly far apart and see what, what you get in terms of results from that. If you finish that, you can export your movie. So you can click the three dots in the top right hand corner and click make movie. And you can change the settings at the top to make it into a TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Just click the YouTube one at the moment, an MP4, and click Make Movie. And then you can upload that to Google Classroom for your teacher to have a look. Just click Share, and then go to More. And then if you scroll through your apps, you can find the Classroom app, and you can upload that to our S1 Google Classroom a classwork tab. Okay, so good luck. Hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing all of your bouncing ball animations.